Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am going to talk about thing, about thing, about the thing that maybe is a little bit mean to talk about and maybe makes you feel a little bit bad. I don't know, but I'm going to talk about limited edition palettes that I am happy that I own. And I have done one of these videos before, I will leave it up here. I will not mention any of the palettes I mentioned then, I have bought some other limited edition palettes after that. So yeah, I think we just hop into this video. So first up I want to talk about some palettes that is in a group. Can you hear them? Can you hear which palette that is? I think one of these might still be available, I don't know, but they are limited edition. They have come back in stock once, I think. Um, but it is the Sweet Shop palette from Beach Cosmetics. And I have the five colorful palettes and these are my first Beach Cosmetics palettes I have tested out. And I, these are amazing quality and what I know and what I've heard they still do amazing palettes but I am so happy that I got all of these I have a super long video that I can leave up here if you want me if you want to see where I did a look with each of the palettes I think these are just fun the quality is amazing it is good mixtures of shimmers and mattes in these palettes they all are in the same, they're built the same, so the bottom row is mattes and the top row is shimmers. I love it. I'm so, so happy that I bought these. I don't, I haven't used them that much. Some of these I only used once. I'm thinking about doing something with these. If you want me to just tell me and I will fix it but I'm so happy that I got a hold of this I'm happy that I fell for it the hype then I have another brand I only have three four different brands in this video that I'm going to talk about I haven't bought that many limitation things but I bought some so another pair of palettes I mentioned this brand in the old video and I'm going to mention this again and it is melt this were their holiday release 2020 and they usually release around black friday and halloween or do they i think so i think they release around halloween instead of christmas and last year it was the bill use collection and i loved the movie it's one of my favorite movies so i was like i'm going to buy them and i'm happy that i did First off, we have the Waiting Room palette. I actually can show you these. It looks like this. Oh, it's super dark. But I don't want to blind you with the mirror. It looks like this. The bottom row I'm not that fond of. Top row I love. I did a video a couple of weeks ago. I don't know when this will come up, but where I used this again. And the shadows are really good. I mainly bought it because it's bill used, but the shadows are good. It's a grungy red palette and grey palette. I don't like grey eyeshadow. But I'm happy that I got this because it's bill used. The other palette I like more uh, It's the recently deceased. And it's the green and purple palettes. And if you have been here for a long time, you know that I didn't like green at all a couple of years ago. Green was my nemesis. Didn't like it. Didn't want to use it. Now I really, really do like green. Now blue has become my new nemesis. Enough about that. But or maybe purple, I don't know. But I really like this palette. This top row is... I love it. It's a grungy, it's cool, it's peel use. And it has like... This color It's one of my favorite like... Chartreuse? Is it even called that? Like a mix of a green and a yellow. And you throw in a lot of like dirt in it. Amazing. 
and this shimmer amazing so this I'm super happy that I bought I like the packaging even though it is a bit bulky but I'm so happy that I got this I don't know I think like for me with melt in the last video I talked about I talked about the Vida Muerte palette that was the holiday release 2019 it must be I think they do the most fun palettes when they're doing holiday Hollywood <laughs> holiday releases and they're limited edition. I don't get it. Like Melt keep these fun things. I guess maybe that Bill use they have to buy the rights and everything for Bill use and I guess that cost money. Of course it do. <laughs> but I think they're really good at doing holiday releases, really cool releases, but I wish they could make their limited edition palettes not limited because these build use palettes and Muerte and Vida palette is so much more fun. But yeah, I'm super happy that I bought them. I don't know though what to do with them and that goes for like all the palettes in this video. It doesn't feel nice to you to use them but I know that a lot of you have them so maybe you should just let it go. The next uh, brand is Kaleidos and we can start with one of the Futurism palettes that I don't understand why it was limited edition. I think it's so strange to do like Futurism 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then you take a one, take away one in the mail because it was a limited edition. It doesn't make any sense for me. And it is the VR Neon. This is one of my favorite palettes from Kaleidos. It looks like this. The shimmers in this, it has two shimmers, these two, they are unbelievable good. And the mattes are really really good. I think this this is a really fun palette. I like to use it on its own, but I also like it to match it with others. Like if I'm doing an orange look, I take this shimmer because it's one of my absolute favorite orange shimmers. The word just went somewhere, not in my mouth. And I don't know why they did this limited edition. I know that a lot of people like this. I know that some are a little bit bummed out that they didn't got it. And I don't know how they can make this limited edition. For me, it's, it's so strange. So I'm so happy I got this in PR. If I didn't get it, would get it, I would buy it because I love Kaleidos and I love their eyeshadow palettes and I'm so happy that I have this one. So I guess you know the other one from Kaleidos that I'm so happy that I have and it is the Club Nebula that they did in collab with Anilka Nyqvist. Anilka is a friend of mine, I love this palette, it looks like this. This has been I have been lacking of motivation and cre my creativi creativi creativity, 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 cre I haven't been that creative. I haven't had that much inspiration. But this is a really easy palette to play with because you can just go row by row and you have an amazing look. And I've really needed that when I don't know what to do. So I'm so happy that I have this palette. One reason is because it looks amazing, another reason is because Anilke is my friend and I want to support my friends even though I got this in PR but, you know, supporting her by using it. And also because it has helped me when I've be, been feeling low on creativity. And it has inspired me to do looks and I have done some amazing looks with this one. And I'm so so happy that I got it. They had have had one restock. I don't know if it's coming anything more. Angelica doesn't know. Nobody knows. But it's really, really good. And the last palette I want to talk about. I don't know if this really is a limited edition palette. Because they said it was going to be restocked as long as people wanted it. But they haven't said that like it's a staple in their 
makeup line. So I don't know if it is a limited edition palette or not, but I'm taking it as a limited edition palette. And that is my newest palette or the newest one that I've used. It's it's freaking bats from Shroud and Bedjean Butte Bean. I have used this once, I <laughs> only my first impression. Maybe I've used it more when you see this, but when I'm recording this, I have only used it once. It looks like this. It's so grungy, it's so cool. This green shade, amazing. This shade, amazing. This is like the dirt shade I was talking about, but this is more like neon -y dirt. Neon dirt. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And the same thing with Club Nebula, that it's with this one. Betty Jean is one of my friends, I really want to support her. I think she's so cool. The palette is so cool and I'm so happy to have this. But as I said, I don't know if this counts as a limited edition palette because they were saying that it was going to produce it as long as people wanted it. I don't know if it is the case, but I'm taking it in here because I see it as a limited edition palette. But I am not sure, so maybe I shouldn't take it. But now, but now we are here, I'm talking about this in this video. And I'm so happy that I have it, and I'm so happy that it finally came. I've been waiting for this for so long. And you know what? That was all for my limited edition palettes. I don't think I ever have bought a limited edition palette that I'm not that thrilled about, actually. I, okay, I bought the 10 years anniversary palette from yeah, KVD. Beauty, Kat Von D's old brand, KVD Vegan Beauty, I never know. I bought that one and from the time that I bought it until it got home to me, it hit the fan. <laughs> so maybe that's a limited edition palette I'm not super happy about owning. But I think all other palettes that are limited edition in my collection I like. I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!